we're heading on a ferry to an island called Xiao Liu Chou, about 30 minutes off the coast near Kaohsiung City, which is the largest port city or one of the largest cities in Taiwan. We're Helen and Tim, full-time travelers. We're taking a quick break from the mountains of Taiwan and we're heading to Lambei Island or Xiao Liu Chou. We're going to show you some of our favorite things that we did around the island, including snorkeling with sea turtles. We've been staying with family for the last two months in Kaohsiung and this was a perfect getaway from the big city life. We made the 45 minute drive from Kaohsiung to the Dong Liu ferry terminal located in the city of Dongang. We're here at this viewpoint outside of Kaohsiung and we were just looking at this, uh, this map here. It shows what type of fish are caught around the island of Taiwan where they catch most of the tuna off the east coast, some cherry shrimp off the southwest coast and uh, this is kind of neat to look at. We just bought tickets to the ferry and it's about 4 10 NT per person round trip. You can actually book through multiple companies here and the tickets are valid for I think up to a week so as long as you use it within that time frame you can get back. Check, check out the one across from it too. It's like a yacht. Lambei Island or Xiaoliuochou is only located 8 miles or 13 kilometers off the southwest coast of Taiwan and it's a popular destination for divers and snorkelers, attracting many visitors, but only 13,000 residents call this tiny island home and it is an island completely made of coral. The middle island takes about 15-20 minutes to essentially get from one end to the other. We made it to the island and pretty much right when you get off, people start essentially wanting, counting you to rent a moped, which we eventually will. We're just taking our time. We don't like to feel pressured. Kind of feel like you're in Mexico where you get off of this yeah. terminal and they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they just surround you like hawks. Tim and I are stubborn and we chose to walk to our hotel instead to rent a bike. Looks like there's a city bus too, maybe. But yeah, there's some bus that like goes around the island, but supposedly you can't find any posted schedules. We also appreciate walking around just to experience the local life. There are plenty of beautiful hotels around the island to choose from, ranging from 1,500 to 3,000 NT per night, but make sure you bring cash because many hotels do not accept credit cards on the island. Tim's gonna give you a tour of the hotel room. Well, since we're right next to the bathroom, your Mediterranean kind of tile, your sink, got some really nice mosaic tiles around the mirror. Basic, a wet, what do they call it, a wet, a wet bath? What looks to be a king bed with some drapes, I don't know what you call them. Yeah, they're drapes. Uh, nice, um, a nice soft bed, but you can't leave the view. The view out to the ocean, we've got a balcony, and there's a great sea breeze. Check out this balcony. So we made our reservation through booking.com, which we do all the time. Nowhere in the reservation did it say cash only. And this was on our first hotel that we went to when we got to the island today. And then they surprised us with, oh, we don't accept credit cards. We went back and forth a few times and they were serious about no credit cards. So we started looking around the island. We had some cash on us. Like we, we took out cash because we heard that the ATMs on the island didn't take, they only took local cards. So we brought some extra cash, but we didn't bring that much. You know, expecting to pay for our hotel room. Helen and her dad jumped on a moped and headed over this way. This hotel didn't take credit cards either. However, it was cheaper than our first one. And that gave us enough wiggle room with the cash we had. And we got, yeah, we got a bigger room for cheaper because we just kind of showed up cash. <laughs> So this hotel room was about 5,600 NT, which is right about $180. For two nights. For two nights. Getting on our helmets for the moped. Our first international moped rental. Safety first, right? You gotta make sure you got the helmet on correctly and tight. Zoom, zoom, vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Tim used to have a motorcycle license. But... Oh, wait, wait, no, I used to have a motorcycle. Oh, you, well, you, and a license. Oh, yeah. We highly recommend renting a moped or an electric bike. You can pretty much rent one right when you get off the ferry. And also the entire length of the island is two and a half miles long, so everything is very accessible. So we 
we are at Venice Beach. Not the California Venice no, Beach. No, <laughs> quite a bit different. So we are on the northern side. The island. It's been nice just to explore on the moped. And it is fun. Yeah, it's been a fun day. Weather's been beautiful. It's midweek, yeah. so it's Tuesday. Not going to see a whole lot of people, so it's definitely highly recommended to come. Yeah. Many of Lombe Island's beaches are filled with rock and coral, but our favorite beach was Venice Beach because of its clear blue water and its soft sand. Though there are rip currents you can't swim with water, it was still a very nice beach to relax on. An iconic Taiwan landmark, Vase Rock, is a coral-shaped rock located at the northern part of Lombe Island. So we are heading to get breakfast this morning. Number two on our list is the food around Xiaoliuqiu, so we're going to take you on a quick food tour. Let's see, definitely one of these. Those look good. Ooh, or one of these. I don't know what the difference is. Green onion. Maybe. <laughs> we got our breakfast. We got our haul. So 125 NT. Yeah. I actually saw another YouTuber walk in there with like a legitimate camera. I'm just filming on my phone and this trip. Smoked, and, he Chinese, yeah. <laughs> and he smoked Chinese. Very impressive. Yeah, yeah. So it yeah. sounded American to me. So. All right. All right. So we made it back for breakfast. This is our breakfast haul. So this is called a medium, a peanut drink. So this is a green onion pancake with egg, green onion pancake with a youtiao, which is essentially a deep fried and battered <laughs> soup dumplings or shaolong bao. We've been having way too many of these. All of this was 125, super affordable. I think of the, uh, the meal? Yeah, what'd you think? Oh, I thought the food was uh, really good. Yeah. It was tasty. So if you see a lot of people, especially locals. Uh, yeah. You see locals eating, you're probably at a safe place. So for dessert, we got this thing called I Eat Jelly, and essentially it is a, a syrupy dessert, and this comes with some fruit. I love that they have the shape of a turtle. So cute, very refreshing, really such a nice treat for a hot day at the beach. Waiting for our soup dumplings. Finally made it to lunchtime. Dinner? Oh yeah, dinner. <laughs> it's been a long day. Just enjoying a 350 NT dinner. Decided to opt out of so the Thai like food. $11 yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. yeah, be, careful. Really hot. be careful, be <laughs> careful. Fresh out of the steamer. Mm, really juicy. Looks like this island is known for these twisted rope cookies. They're really good. They're essentially like super crunchy, salty, sweet. It's super tasty and excited to try it. Finally found a healthy option on the island. We've been craving like acai bowls or it's like Tim found it. It was what, 280 you said? Yeah, it was about 280 like 280 NT. NT. I got a, an egg salad with chicken added into it. And it came with a bowl of yogurt with some cereal and some pork floss, uh, the dried pork floss on top, and a little bowl of fruit. I think that's brown sugar. <laughs> Is that brown sugar? That's definitely brown sugar. That's brown sugar. <laughs> Not <laughs> pork floss. We'll definitely link all of our food in the notes below. And number three on our list is the snorkeling. You cannot miss this activity as there are over 700 sea turtles that call Xiaoliuqiu home. So there are a couple popular beaches here for snorkeling, free diving, and scuba diving. There are plenty of dive shops here just right off of each of these areas. Secret Beach is the most popular beach in Xiaoliuqiu. We are excited to get into snorkel with sea turtles. It's gonna be awesome. We saw some from one of the overlooks at the Ecological Center just earlier today, and there are definitely plenty of them. There are over 700 sea turtles that inhabit this island, and they are very well protected. Make sure you bring reef safe sunscreen. We saw over a dozen dive in scuba shops around the island, so renting and hiring a guide is not a problem when you get onto the island. Tim wasn't thrilled about hiring a guide, but we did have some issues with our GoPro, so we needed to make sure we got some photos and videos along our way on this turtle watching adventure. Our first sea turtle, this is so cool. He's eating seaweed, oh my goodness.
We were definitely impressed by the biodiversity in the waters around Xiaoliuqiu Island, and we definitely wish we had more time to scuba dive, but we will be saving that for some future adventures to come. So the guy just told us that the turtle buries itself on the seabed floor in that seaweed to go to sleep. They can sleep for up to six hours until they come out for their next breath. When you're swimming around, you can see the surface part of it, but when they're sleeping, they just stay underneath. After swimming with these majestic creatures, we wanted to learn more about them. There are currently over seven species of sea turtles, and they're often referred to scientists as marine turtles. They can travel over 10 to 20 miles per day and grow upwards to about a thousand pounds for the biggest species of turtles. And also they do return home. Females return to the beach that they are hatched on where they can lay their eggs and bury them in the sand and hope that their little hatchlings make it to live a long life like some of these sea turtles that we saw in the ocean at Lombay Island. Now we're going on a self tour. Tim is much happier now. My own speed. The other, the, the guide was so cute. He kept taking pictures of us and I kept having to tap Tim through the whole tour and we are now at Secret Beach, about to hit up some more snorkeling and hopefully we can see some more sea turtles. Very surprised, pleasantly surprised with the snorkeling experience. You know, your typical tour guide thing, which I, I'm not a big fan of. But once we saw the sea turtles and everything, it was a lot of fun. And then going off on our own, we just rented our own snorkel gear and went to Secret Beach, just Helen and myself. And that was an amazing experience. Um, There's all sorts of fish and lots of sea turtles. In fact, there was at one point in time, we had like seven sea turtles. There was like a sea turtle family that we were snorkeling They were around. babies too. Yeah, with little babies. And uh, that was an amazing Wish experience. Wish we would have captured that on video. Yeah, I felt very lucky to have experienced that. We definitely wanted to support the local economy and you know, going on the guided trip, it's a little more expensive, but you also get that personalization where you have the guide kind of explaining things to you. And luckily I had Helen to translate, so. Number five of things to do around Lumbai Island is exploring the coral caves. There are quite a few to explore around the island. Strange, there's a place to sit. It's almost like a outdoor living area. Got <laughs> the roots on that tree, crazy. Make sure to visit the Black Devil Cave. It costs 120 NT to visit, and it does require a bit of walking about a quarter to a half mile through cave complexes, as well as ocean lookouts. And also there is a sad and fascinating history attached to this based on when the Dutch settled this area. So we'll definitely drop a link so you can read more about that. Hi. Oh, dang. Yeah, we gotta squeeze our way through. My knees aren't gonna like this. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, Maybe I should. have to crawl underneath. This goes all the way through? Yeah. You sure? Yep, I'm not, I'm not yeah. crawling, so. Well, I think my knee's gonna dislike me if I do that. So we're gonna go back out and just go where we don't have to crawl. And you can imagine how many thousands of years it took to shape the geological features and the erosion seen around the islands of this coral island of Xiaoliuqiu. And one of the other stops that we really enjoyed is the ecological center, which was actually an old military bunker. It's free to walk around and we saw plenty of sea turtles from the sea cliffs above. Look at the mangrove of trees. This is really neat of it overgrowing. Don't want to go back to island time. Island for an island. Have to head back to Kaohsiung after this and catch a ferry and we don't want to go back, but. I guess she means mainland time. <laughs> mainland time, but we'll be in Bali before we know it. It's like there's a cool temple too that you can explore. One of a couple dozen on the island, it seems. This island is a nice little getaway from the main city. 
for two days, maybe tops. Yeah. Two or three for, days. for a couple days. For a couple days, I would be get a here little for stir crazy. A week. You're pushing it for a full week, but um, it's definitely it's great weather, calm vibes, island vibes. We're heading back to Kaohsiung. We decided to take a bus, kind of the longer route, instead of a 200 NT or, or a 200 per NT per person shuttle ride or an Uber. We're going to take the scenic route. Take the scenic route. Make sure to like the video and drop us a comment, and we will definitely see you on the next trail. Bye. Bye. In our next video, we head back into the mountains. We summit the tallest peak in Taiwan at Yishan National Park. Make sure to follow us on Instagram for real-time updates, and we'll see you on the next adventure.